Assalamu alaikum. Uh, we are putting this class for uh, MCQs on uh, current of electricity. Current of electricity is a very important chapter. In the first question, we have calculated the current using the formula current into time and we converted time into, we had converted time into second. In the second question, we can see that one volt also be expressed. Volt is equal to W upon Q, which is joule per coulomb. And we translated it in option D. <clears throat> You can okay. answer. Uh, you can answer on the chat and also on the mic. Now we have to see this question. He is using the same material. The resistances of the wires and cross-sectional areas are different. Which wire has the greater resistance and which wire has the larger cross-sectional area? Now, the main thing is the graph. The main thing is the graph. It's voltage against current. When you draw a graph, voltage against current, remember one thing that gradient is always Y upon X. It is V upon I. So it is equal to R. The, the resistance of the gradient of this graph is resistance. Now look at the gradient. The wire P has, because it's more steeper, has higher resistance. Wire Q has lower resistance. What is the concept of resistance and area? Resistance is inversely proportional to area. When you area. say resistance is higher, area would be lower. Yes. So we have to select, we have to greater resistance. We have two options, A or B. Area is in resistance and area are inversely proportional. So, what should be the option A or B? B. 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 Very good. Now look the way I am working and you can also in the paper practice uh, when you are practicing in your book, remember to write on the paper, remember to write down the working, remember to make a proper follow up, do not make a guess. O level MCQs are obviously a Cambridge level questions are there. So you, you should not try to guess it directly. Um, I will be inshallah sharing some practice worksheets with you and you people have to uh, do it at home. A student is investigating resistance using the circuit shown. The resistance of R is approximately 5 ohm. What are the most suitable ranges for the voltmeter and the ammeter? Remember the formula. Remember the formula for resistance. This is voltage. This is current. Resistance is V upon I. So let's translate it. He says most suitable ranges. Now, this is a tricky question because he's not giving a single value. He's giving suitable ranges for the voltmeter and for the ammeter. So let's see workout option A. Voltage is maximum 2. And uh, we need, because he says approximately 5 ohm. So I should try to get maximum resistance in every part. Because maximum should be 5 ohm. So I take 2 volt in the maximum value and uh, minimum I can take any number because all values in minimum is 0. So apply this formula on every option. 
So suppose I try this option on my first R is equal to 2 upon 0 Solve this. Four. It will be uh, and it should be. Look, I have made working for every part. Now, which is uh, the closest one which I should take? E. Um, e. A charge of 45 charge of coulomb, a charge of 45 coulomb flows through an electrical appliance for three minutes. What is the current? First, I will write down the formula. So what is the answer? A. A. Hamad, what you are getting? A. A. The diagram shows a battery of three 1.5 volt cells. This is a parallel combination and uh, cells are in parallel. What is an advantage of this arrangement of cells? The battery can supply a current for a longer time. What is the advantage of cells in parallel? If you people have read the theory, Advantages of cells in parallel. Yes, you can all you people can always look on the notes. What is the advantage of parallel combination? Parallel combination is like uh, the whole current is provided, like the all the total more current is provided. Yes.
So can you please let me know the answer, six part, what should be the answer? The battery can supply any EMF between 0 and 4.5. I have already written the important outputs of a parallel combination. So what is better? Then I think A. Yes, very good. Remember, a parallel combination gives more a parallel combination a parallel combination, a parallel combination gives a greater backup time. A charge of 7.5 coulomb flows through a resistor in 5 seconds. A student has a meter with different ranges. So I have the value of Q. I have the value of P. Please copy this working and solve for me. It's A. A. Achha, what answer you are getting? 7.5 upon 5. 7.5. Sorry, can't hear. Um, one point five. One point five. B, B, B. Mm -hmm. Amat, but did you get one point what? Did you divide it? 7.5 upon 5. Yes, 7.5 divided by 5. My answer will be No, no. Can you please tell me what is coming? 7.5 upon 5. One point something, one point what? One point five. Yeah. One point five. Five. Which will be the answer will be. Ah, huh, but I was asking for calculation result. One point five. The identical cells are connected in parallel to a resistor. What is the advantage of using three cells in parallel rather than using in a single cell? Now, I have already explained you people, this is the benefit. Now, can you tell me how, what is the answer of question number eight? What is the advantage of using three parallels as in parallel? Each cell supplies more energy. Remember, I repeat my concept. Please try to remember, memorize the concept. Nothing can produce more energy. It's a rule in physics. Energy can never be increased. When you connect cells in parallel, when you connect cells in parallel, it's the most important thing to remember. When you connect cells in parallel, they give more backup time. B, I said B. Honey, I was making it clear, no? B. Again, think the cells give more backup time. Let's see. Okay. So please listen carefully. Answer, no problem. Answering one minute is fine. Not message to give very quickly. The cells take longer to run down. When the flash on a camera is used, a charge of 1.5 coulomb flows through the flash tube. In this much second, the average voltage across the flash tube is 3600 volt. What is the electrical energy? Now, um, I think, uh, uh, Hamad, you have not done this formula, but uh, anyways, you are going to do it this formula with me in the coming one or two classes. Yeah. This is Q. This is T. This is V.
Now let's have a formula working energy is equal to Q into V and power is equal to Q V upon T. I have done calculation. Please copy this calculation. Okay. Copy this calculation and solve and get the values for me first. Tell me the values. Do not tell me the answer. Energy is uh, 5400. 50, 5400. Yes. Okay, good. And the power? Power is 1.8 10 raised to power 6. Hamar, can you please share your answers? Well, I got energy as 5,400, but not power. I'm getting power as 1.2 times 10 power 8. Yes, right. Um, this is slight misprinting. A one meter, I think it's one meter, one meter length of wire of cross sectional area, 0.4 millimeter square, has a resistance of R area and length. Amar, you did this thing with me yesterday, and now you have to try to practice this again. Yeah. I have made the data for I have made the data for the question. Make a habit. Make a habit of working the same way as I am working. I have made the data. I will be writing down the formula. Amar, can you recall this formula? Can, can you recall this formula? You did Just this with me yesterday. Just give me a second. It is R1 over R2 equal L1 over L2 times A2 over A1. Hmm. This is for the cross-sectional area and for the diameter it was R1 over R2 equal L1 over L2 times D2 over D1. Then square. Whole, yeah, square. See the working. Copy the working. Copy the complete working. Okay. Yeah.
The answer is coming point five. It's A option. <laughs> the flash on a camera operates when a capacitor discharges through a flash tube in 3.2 millisecond. A charge of 6 coulomb passes through the flash tube. I uh, so can you give me a minute? I'm just coming back. Okay. okay. Look at this working. It's zero point zero one eight. It would be a. Good. Which physical quantity is produced by a calculation where charge is multiplied by a potential difference? So when I follow this, I will get Q into V. Q into V is... Electrical energy.
three ten ohm resistors are connected together to form networks X, Y, and Z. What is the order of resistance of the network going from the smallest total to the largest total? Now remember the concept. Resistance R is maximum in series. R is minimum in parallel. So remember this concept and answer for me. What should be the smallest resistance? So please answer which one of them, which one of them is the lowest resistance one? Lowest resistance. So, uh, X would be the lowest in resistance and uh, Y would be the largest. X would be lowest and Y would be largest. I said B. B. I say that. Hmm, X, then Z, uh, that B, right? Hmm. A power supply of 18 volt is connected to three, res three resistors and shown. What is the PD across the two ohm resistor? So how should I solve this question? I should first try to find the PD across the resistors. There are two resistors in parallel. Voltage is the same in parallel and voltage divides in series. So let's make it a common thing and let's make this as this. So what is the resistance of this loop? There are two resistors in parallel. This is the formula for resistors in parallel. Okay. Please copy this working with me. It will be a practice and uh, sixty-four divided by sixteen. Option will be. Do not jump to the option quickly. And this is four ohm. Now see the now see the ratio. Ratio is 1 is to 2. What's the formula? Ratio. I'm writing everything so you people can write with me and it will be a practice.
Look, I have shown all the steps. This is how I'm getting six volt. Please look at the working. Yes, I have seen six volt. An immersion heater is labeled 24 volt, 120 watt. What is the current in the heater? Uh, Hamad, you have to do this formula with me. You haven't done it yet, but you can look at it because you know the terms. But uh, oh. it has come in the way, so let's try it. Divide by 120 divided by 24. Five sentence. B's answer, I guess. How much is one twenty upon twenty four? Five. Five. Uh, A piece of wire has a resistance 16 ohm. Another wire made from the same material has four times the length and twice the cross-sectional area. What is the resistance of the wire? I have written the formula. Look how I'm writing it, X and 4X. I'm using this X because he has not given us any number. He has used the idea. He has used the idea of times. Please copy the whole working for practice.
the diagram shows a circuit that has two resistors in series. What is the current? So now let's combine them. Point four. The option is A. Good. There is a current of point two five in a lamp connected. Let me do the answer. Okay. Sorry, couldn't hear. The answer here is 40 times 60. B, B60 watt. And the next answer is 40 divided by 40 divided by uh, 8. 8 is the next answer. 40 divided by 5 into 10 to the power minus 3, Hamad. D. Eight thousand. 
what is the average current in the flash? Yes, uh, uh, Zainab, what did you say? D. No, did, what, what is the answer? 8,000. 8,000? Uh, no. Which of the following is equivalent to volt? I have written for you. The electrical resistance of a metal wire varies with temperature as shown. The resistance of the wire at 0 degree is 1 ohm and at 100 degree is 1.4. What is the resistance of the wire at 200? I'm making a ratio method. So for 100 degree change, the resistance changes by 0.4 ohm and is talking about 200. So uh, solve this ratio for me. Um.
Can you please come let me know what X is coming up? So the change. So the change is point eight. You cannot apply a ratio on zero degree directly because that will make it zero. So I have followed a method which is called change. Oh, please observe this. Oh, So please look at this working. If there is any query, let me know. If you once made complete the working, let me know also. Okay, so we are keeping up to here and uh, I will be sharing inshallah a worksheet and uh, 